So you may be wondering, how are my white tested seats holding up after 14,000 miles? And are my seats still white after three dirty dogs? Do I have any regrets and do I still think it's worth upgrading? Well, stick around to find out more. If you haven't checked out our other channel, The Golden Palm Squad, we just got a new puppy. And yeah, he's cute. But he does a lot of damage. And our dogs are, well, dogs. They like to go to the beach to get away. They like to dig and they like to just be dirty. On top of that, our little one doesn't have any space in the back, so he always comes up on our white Tesla seats, and when his paws are dirty, the seats get super dirty. Although our rear seat covers have been holding up great so far, dirt, slobber, and nasty stuff still find its way on the white seats. Also, the seat covers don't cover the entire back part of the seat, and it doesn't cover the door trim as well. I'm afraid to use any aftermarket door trim protector, because it clips inside the window and can damage the aftermarket trim. However, Tesla just came out with their own pet seat cover and it looks amazing. The quality is top notch. It comes in this nice carrying bag and it protects the door trim without scratching the tint, which is a huge deal. So the material of the side piece is very nice. I'm assuming this is all water resistant. This part up here is padded and it goes in right here. It honestly looks like it's not going to scratch the tint the way that it's fitting, which is really nice. It looks like it just simply goes here. Very smooth, not rough at all. Ooh, and it looks like it's either magnetic or just weights, just weights it looks like. Just to kind of make sure it stays down. But overall, the material is beautiful for this piece. Let's see. Door test. This covers most part of it of the doors you can see like right there like it adjusted this way so it still kind of shows a little bit so that is something to keep in mind however it's not a deal breaker so much cleaner than just having it open like that and having a damaged door looks just like how it did on the website covers up nicely all the way up to there very high quality mesh and you have so much space to kind of look in and see not really sure how this part works. It, I think a seatbelt's supposed to go through, but it's like elastic. So I don't know how a seatbelt will go through there. However, they do have little Velcro strips for the seatbelt buckle, which is amazing. It does a great job of protecting the interior for sure. However, the one thing I don't like is, I wish it was a little longer because my dogs, since I have three of them, they love to kind of one loves to just hang out right here where this open area is. However, if you do that, then this thing's gonna pop right off, which can be an issue. But roomy, super roomy for what it is. It's so clean, especially with the door cover on that side over there. One thing, another thing I don't like is it doesn't come up as high. It would be nice if it was like up to here. And these are not adjustable at all, so you can't even adjust it. Overall, if you have a dog, look into the Tesla pet seat cover because I think it's totally worth it. Today, I'm gonna show you my deep clean method of how I clean my interior, as well as reapply the ceramic coating and show you how white my Tesla seats still are. If you wanna see some awesome stain tests and a more detailed video on how I apply the ceramic coating and what it is, make sure to check out my other video in which I talk about white Tesla seats as well as how to ceramic coat the interior. What is up guys? It's Chris with Everyday Chris and welcome back to my channel, the number one place for Tesla tech and everyday life. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and as always, like the video. By the way, all the stuff I purchased, I purchased by myself and I'm not sponsored or anything. I do want to try more Gion stuff, so Gion, hit me up. Now let's get straight into it. I'll probably do a super deep clean of my interior about once a year, depending how dirty the seats are. Here is my white Tesla seats. I coated it so you're gonna see how clean it gets when I wash it after. But with the dogs, with kids, it gets super dirty. You can even see how it's just dirty everywhere. But as you can see, it is very, very dirty. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take a vacuum cleaner and clean up all the loose pieces. So all I have is a hot microfiber cloth. It's just hot water, no solution. This is the solution I've been using and I love it. But just to show you the seat quality, I'm just gonna go ahead and just start rubbing. These stains have been here for like three days, which is why I think 
I'm gonna need some more power. So yeah, so it definitely gets rid of most of it. And just scram the seats. And then I have this little brush here that I'm gonna use to kind of agitate the dirt. So very easy. Just gonna agitate it a little bit. You can see the dirt coming up. So that's all it takes, just a small brush. Wipe it clean, baby. Done. That's how easy the white seats are to clean. Don't forget that once you apply the coating, you form an invisible barrier on top of the seats. You can still stain the coating, however, but the seats itself shouldn't be stained. This is super important if you have any dye or gene dye transfer. With the coating, the dye may transfer onto the seats itself. However, it would stain the coating only and not the seats. So when you remove the coating, it should remove the stain. And again, a lot of people ask me if dye transfer with jeans is an issue. Unfortunately, I don't really wear jeans and it's a hard test to do in such a short time. However, I have had dye transfer in the past in my other car with light gray leather interior. And the best thing to use is Leather Masters Dye Transfer Cleaner. It's a well-known brand if you're an OG and have leather seats. It really helps remove the dye, but super strong stuff and it definitely removes the coating. And using that on top of the magic eraser, it should definitely remove any dye transfer on your seats. However, I still know tons of people who want to choose black because it's so much easier to maintain and they have kids or dogs and they don't want to worry about white Tesla seats, which I totally get. However, I said it in my other video and I'll say it again. White Tesla seats look so much more awesome and it makes the interior look so much more open. However, to each his own. Also, when you're on a road trip, the last thing you want to think about is your white seats and if a stain is going to come out or not. Now one quick and easy way to get rid of any stains is the best life hack in the game and it's baby wipes. Simply wipe it clean and it's done. However after a while with normal use, usually around a year, the ceramic coating starts to rub off making stains more difficult to remove. So this is why I need to deep clean my interior. Okay so before we get started I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum the seats. I got my Handy dandy vacuum over here. Get something powerful that actually vacuums. I'm gonna go ahead and try to vacuum any type of dirt or debris. I'm gonna just try to vacuum everything. I'm also gonna vacuum all of this junk here. Even if you don't see the dust or dirt, it could still kind of be attached to there. Like I feel that it's a little dirty there. So I'm gonna just vacuum everything. That way it makes your life easier when you're doing the next step. So after step one is complete, step two is using the OxyClean, using the seat cleaner to clean the seats thoroughly. And this I just have a mix of OxyClean. I got my magic eraser here that's gonna do wonders. I got a toothbrush and just like a rag. I'm mixing it with super hot water. Okay, so now that the seats are all vacuumed, everything is vacuumed and looking clean already. Now I know the toothbrush is gonna to be really helpful, especially for these areas where it's just all cloth. You can already kind of see these areas where it's all cloth. You can already see kind of see it's changing colors there. I don't, I still am upset. I don't know why they didn't finish the fake leather to go all the way here. So it's all cloth here and it's already getting dirty like right in this area. So I'm gonna use the toothbrush to clean all that. Maybe even the magic eraser. Just gonna clean it really well. Take your time with this step because the seats have to be extremely clean before you apply the coating. So I mean, when you get a brand new car, it's super easy. However, 14,000 miles with three dogs and if you have any pets or if you have any kids, it's gonna get super dirty. Also when you're cleaning the seats, make sure to play around with the angles of the seats because a lot of dirt and dust can kind of get into the crevices. So make sure you bring the seat all the way back, all the way forward, all that stuff. And that also applies to when you're coating. And again, make sure you really clean the stitching because we're gonna be coating the stitching a lot better this time because I didn't do a good job the first time. So the stitching got dirty first. So I mean, just, just a quick clean with the OxyClean, you can already see how dirty the seats are. It's pretty crazy. OxyClean pad here, especially for this side. The OxyClean won't ruin anything, don't forget. It just makes it so you'll probably for sure have to apply ceramic coating because it's very rough. 
So it will remove any imp impurities, any dirt, but it also remove the coating for sure. But it's perfect to get for the stitching. It's super dirty right here. Let me show you real quick how dirty it is right next to this seat belt because it's cloth. If you look right there, it's just filthy right there. So I'm gonna go and clean all of this. Okay, so in combination with the cloth, the toothbrush, and the magic eraser, now it's like clean now. Fact of the matter is, this is probably gonna get the dirtiest the quickest because you can't coat it and it's cloth. Uh, it's just gotta clean it every year maybe, because it's been a year since I cleaned it last. But still the seats are filthy. So I'm still clean in here. I'm using the brush here to kind of agitate it even more. Get in all the fibers, make sure there isn't one single area that is dirty. It's looking cleaner already. This is the dirtiest part because this is where the dogs usually go. They're slobbering and everything. So yeah, I'm making sure I get all the stitching this time around. You have your cleaning spray. You just kind of spray it on right, right real quick. Let it soak. And then you can clean it even more. And already you can kind of see it's getting a little bit wider than before, which is great. A little bristle brush and then I'm gonna use my cloth and just do a final rinse. So now that's clean, I got my macrofiber cloth. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean or dry it. It's like a final clean. And that's it. So I did the driver's seat so far. It took about like 10, 15 minutes because I was recording and talking at the same time. However, once you have your system, you'll be good to go. Okay, so if you haven't seen my previous video, you know the drill and how to apply the coating. So I'm not gonna do too much of a detailed video there. However, I do wanna focus on um, coating the stitching this time more. So I still have my old one, it's about half full. So half of this should definitely be able to do the entire car again. Give it a nice shake. Got my microfiber cloth. Now remember, it's supposed to apply wet. So here, a couple of drops and I'm just gonna start. I have to see close to me. I could definitely tell there's no coating or anything. Um, the Magic Eraser did a great job. The seats are very clean. So, very rough texture. Seats are clean. So I'm just applying the coating here. Nice amount. And I'm just gonna start kind of in the front here. my way around. And when I do the stitching on that side, just make sure you really focus on making sure it's wet enough and it just grabs that stitching and wets it. You don't even need to use this for that part. You could just kind of go run it along the fibers of the stitching there. Okay, I just want to say the value on the leather shield is amazing. I didn't think I'd have enough to do the entire seats again. However, I did have enough. And if you look, all the seats, the trim, the steering wheel, the door trim, even the back seats I was able to do. And I still have this much left. Now it's all done. You're supposed to let it dry for at least an hour and try not to use the seats for at least 12 hours so it could really cure and set in. The interior looks so clean and new. Even my Joel Council Organizer and its new hub is looking clean. This thing is so clutch when it's dark, I can press this button and the light turns on. Also, there's USB ports at the top and in front. So if I want to use my controller to play games or charge stuff, it's way easier to plug in. Make sure to check out the Joel USB hub as well as the organization tray as it's just the perfect fit. And I'll make sure to link it in the description below. Anyways, thanks for watching my video guys and I'll see you guys next week.